thinking of past and the future, you know, can you just tell us how you stay grounded nowadays, you know, stay in the present moment? I stay grounded for me by meditating on God's name and worshiping God and always be, you know, having the remembrance of the presence of God. And I stay grounded by training daily, studying, not wasting the time, and just constantly try to refocus my mind in the present moment, constantly keep writing down my to-do lists so I don't forget anything. Always keep a to-do list around handy uh, in order to make sure that whatever I tell someone I'm going to do, I get it done. Whatever my deadlines are, I get it done. Whatever I need to get it done, I get it done. So that way it's out of my head. It's on the paper. I don't have to worry about forgetting it. So I keep referring to it. You know, long term, I always, last couple of years, I've been using New Year's Eve just to be in a crib and envision. I, I vision what I want for my life daily. I ask myself very often, like, what do you really want out of life? What is the life that I really want? And I've been doing that for years now. So I visualize what it is I'm trying to create. And then I'm also fluid in, in terms of as things come along, you know, I just stay fluid in what life gives me and what life doesn't. Certain times doors get shut down. I just submit to God's will and it always works out and I always have patience. So I stay grounded by submitting to God's will, training, training martial arts help me ground. I want to improve my discipline of meditation to be even more grounded, improve my breathing, be conscious of my breath, be conscious of my posture. I've been trying to work on my posture more. Those are the types of things I do to stay grounded. If you can list any recommendations on any books that you recommend, uh, movies, films, music, uh, resources that you like to, you know, just call out that has helped you along the way. So my, my biggest resource, I would say, is your own inner self. And I would say, instead of reading a whole bunch of books, write a book. I would say, what's your thoughts? Instead of everybody telling you what their thoughts are, what do you think? I would say, instead of, instead of watching a movie, make a movie. Yeah, I live a movie. My life is a movie. I'm busy making movies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for real. Like, you know, that's how, that's really what I'm on. Like, instead of listening to music, you know, I, I, how many rappers can I really feel what they talk about? hundred. I'm real big on the message. Not saying that there's none. But I'd rather make music than listen to music. For real, for real. I like those old school Hindi movies. The ones where the people, like the ancestors used to be, like, they used to be honorable, man. They would like, yo, India, man, they use, it's like movies with warrior. They got warriors, love stories, and saints. That's the background. So you have a king, I mean, and he is a love story, and then he's a warrior too. There's this movie called Mogle Azam, Jodi Akbar. There's these movies, man. These are Indian classics. Yo, the prince took his dad. Like, listen, the prince, and this is supposed to be a true story, too. The prince took his dad to war behind the woman that he loved. He created a whole inkalab, a whole revolution. Because he was the prince, right? He fell in love with the, with the maid, basically, the servant. So he was going to be the king. He wanted to marry the servant. The king was like, no, you can't do that because you can't make a servant into a queen. And he was like, well, I'm the prince. I get to choose my wife. <laughs> and I know how deep love could be. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I understood. Like, you know, he, he was like, nah. So he did a whole revolution. He tried to take his dad to war behind that. Ended up losing a battle and all that. Man, it's just interesting stuff. Like, I like that type of stories. Um, those classic, like, you know, where you live by your code of honor. And, but I've, I've ultimately realized that, nah, I wouldn't <clears throat> take my, my family to war for love, even though I know how deep it could be. You got to do the right thing. <laughs>